Is Jeremy Hunt the problem? Is Jeremy Hunt the blockage, as he's now been described as being? Um, Jeremy Hunt, of course, is the Chancellor of the Exchequer, the man who's made Spoonerism famous. Jeremy Hunt, before he was Chancellor of the Exchequer, was at one point Secretary of State for Health, the person who signed off all the checks needed to um, pay legal fees to keep fighting, let's say, whistleblowers uh, in the health service to make sure that bad stories didn't get out, to make sure that um, good change didn't actually take place, to make sure that the status quo was preserved. Jeremy Hunt, the man who was followed by Matt Hancock, uh, himself the person in the stationary cupboard, uh, with the hands who... Uh, after searching for an HB pencil with a rubber, goes off to the jungles of Australia uh, to redeem himself and find a new political career in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, with a memoir which nobody bothered reading. There we are. That's the preamble. Jeremy Hunt. Jeremy Hunt. Um, I, we should ask him, for example, his relationship with David Davis, not the fellow in the in Parliament, but the uh, uh, clin uh, the clinical. Can, can I can I use the word clinical when somebody doesn't have a doctor's training? I don't know. Uh, the national medical advisor, should we say, um, the person who uh, is uh, is involved in so many harassment cases. Um, you know, the the person who has a sort of vicarious relationship, let's say, with. Uh, Jeremy Hunt, um, uh, the um, Jeremy Hunt's relationship, oh my goodness, Jeremy Hunt's relationship with the strange and the um, arcane world of, uh, of, of writing checks for legal cases. Jeremy Hunt seems to be um, obsessed with um, litigation, or rather defending litigation, and, uh, and, and, and with that in mind, you know, we can, we, we can, look, to, we can look to the other unions, uh, an, an obsession with paying for litigation rather than paying wages. You know, didn't, didn't we hear only the other day that it might have been easier to pay people, to pay the rail workers rather than to uh, maintain this strike and the, um, uh, and, and the squabbling? Remember, it's Jeremy Hunt who quoted the... Um, the slogan, delay, defend, die. Uh, he was quoting a slogan which is well known by people in the NHS who run around the place trying to stop any form of dissent. Delay, defend, die. Isn't that possibly what Jeremy Hunt is busy doing? Delay, defend, die. We can think, uh, you know, in the end, he has had to pay out to people like um, Raj, um, Dr Raj... What is his name? Mallon, the cardiologist uh, who settled for one million pounds. Um, uh, but but there have been so many deaths, unnecessary deaths, so many tragedies. Like, for example, Amin Abdullah, uh, the nurse who was burnt alive, uh, who was suspended and hospitalised and then killed himself for trying to support a colleague uh, in 2016. You know, so uh, is Jeremy Hunt responsible, as Sarah Gorton, head of health at Unison, um, who, uh, who was saying that um, how, how positive were her, were, were her discussions with Steve Barclay, the Secretary of State. Uh, she said he really changed his tune and we had a very constructive meeting on January the 10th and we were expecting some follow-up to that and it hasn't happened. Instead, we're having more... More of the same, more of the same um, strikes. It feels like the blockage is at the Chancellor's level, which is really ironic because Jeremy Hunt, only a few short months ago, was writing reports as chair of the um, Health and Social Care Select Committee, taking and uh, talking about the investment that's needed to resolve the workforce emergency in the NHS. So he knows more than anybody else. What is needed? He's also worked with unions constructively to resolve disputes before. He's worked with Unison and other health unisons, uh, unions to resolve the 2014-2015 pay disputes. So he's got a track record of working with unions and he should do that, exactly that. But he seems to be locked into a mindset where litigation is more important than a solution. We need to change that. We need to encourage Mr Hunt 
to think outside the box if necessary, to uh, think in a new and constructive way rather than in this obstructive way. Construction, positivity, that's what we need from Mr Hunt. I'm sure he can do it.